Simple masking in After Effects. Um, here's what um, we're going to create here. Let me press. I have this, uh, I have the work area. I grab this thing right here, the work area, and once it goes through it, it'll start to go through it in real time. Now it's, you know, it's pretty much doing it real time here. So we have this text up here, and then it goes up, and we lose it. Okay, so that is something called masking. And all that is, is before I make it here, we have two layers. We have a mask, and it's a colored rectangle, but because it's a mask, you can't see it. But there's the outline right there. So we have text below it, and we have something called track matting. And there's a little toggle switch mode right here, if you can see it. And when I click it, different things happen on um, the timeline in After Effects. And I'm looking for when I click it, it'll say track mat, T-R-K-M-A-T. So, um, you know, they, they forgot the A and the C, but, you know, to make it smaller. Anyways, we're making, um, we're using the mask, the rectangle, to basically expose or show the text only when the text is underneath it. So, so I have some animated movement, and the text is below it. And then when the text moves up into it, you can see it, but only when it's underneath the rectangle. Okay, and that's called masking. So we're gonna we're gonna recreate this. Let me start with a uh, a new uh, sorry uh, do a new composition, which is a timeline, and I'm gonna call it uh, my simple mask. Okay, we're always gonna choose HDTV 1080. 29.97. So if you click here, you have all these different things. It's HDTV 1080 29.97. HDTV 1080 29.97. Okay. And um, the duration is five seconds. So even if it's longer, here's my timeline. It goes up to five seconds here. And I can actually, once I make this thing, if it's not five seconds, it's really short, like two or three seconds. I can grab what's called the work area here. Notice as it says work area end, but I can grab it and move it. You don't want to do this one, which is, uh, what's that called there? The time navigator, but you want the one, the widest, thickest one below it. And this, this will be, when I make a movie, it'll only make a movie in this area. Okay, it won't, it won't, there's nothing happening here, it's just a waste of, of timeline. So I shorten the timeline just to include all the stuff we've done, and then I'll, I'll make a movie. Okay, so let me do this first. I'll take it out. I'm going to grab text, grab my text tool. I'm going to make it, you know, big. Okay, I can grab it over here and make it bigger. And this is the character window, so if you go to window... And I have character checked. These are all the different panels I have checked. But I have character. Character are um, font uh, um, letters and numbers, fonts, um, the text tool, basically. And you can resize it here and change the, the type of font and all of that. So I'll, let, me, let me type here. Okay, something like that. And then I'm going to grab, once I'm done with my text tool, I'm going to grab my selection tool, the second tool here, little arrow. And this basically allows me to grab it, and I can even, um, oh, sorry, I thought it would let me do that. But uh, I'm going to go over here and make it a little bit bigger. Okay, and then just put it right there. And notice, here's our access point. And there's different ways to change that. My uh, thing I like to do is, because we have text on a layer now, I can go up to Layer and go to Transform, and then, oh, sorry, Layer Transform, and then go down to Center Anchor Point in Layer. Basically, whatever's on that layer, it's going to move that access point in the middle. And even though we're not rotating anything, I just like to do it. Yeah, general, it's a kind of a general habit, typically. Okay, so now we have text. Woo! Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer. If I do something right now, the text is highlighted. See, see if I click on the text, see how it's kind of highlighted. If I click away from it, see how it's like basically deactivated. So you want to deactivate it. And then what we're going to do is 
we're going to grab a tool up here. It's the rectangle tool. It looks like a kind of a square or rectangle. And there's different options. Just a second here. There's different options. The one you want is the rectangle. And then a lot of times you'll have a stroke. And the stroke is the line around it. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is when we choose the rectangle tool, we're going to come over here. And because it's going to be a mask, I like to make some really weird colors so, so I can definitely see it. I'm not going to make it white or black, okay, because then I won't see it. But I'm also going to get rid of the stroke. And to do that is I'm going to click on the word stroke and then choose the first one, which is if you mouse over it, it says none. It's a white square with a red perpendicular line. And when I choose none, see now it has no stroke on it. So I'm going to make a rectangle above the text. Or actually, yeah, I'll make it above the text and I'll bring it down. So it's again, it's a layer. It's on a layer above it. Now let's say that I, I messed up and it's behind the text. So all I have to do is with my mouse grab it and I can drag layers up and down here and I can also rename them I think on a on a Mac you press return I think on a, on a Chromebook or a PC you press enter and see how it highlights shape one I can name it and I'm gonna call it just mask one okay because you might have multiple masks on projects okay but I have the mask above the text I'm gonna grab my selection tool and move it down so that the text is, um, it's over the text, you can't see the text. And then here's the tricky part. I'm going to go to my little toggle switches modes here. And again, I'm going to click so it says track mat right here. Okay, there's two modes. There's this one that we use sometimes. And we can use both of them for different things. But, but then I can do this, and here's a whole other mode. And it says T-R-K-M-A-T -T right here. And what I want to do is... On the text layer, under track mat, see where it says none? I'm going to click it and say alpha mat mask one. And what that does is it means that, that the text is only going to appear when it's under the rectangle. Notice you can't see the rectangle. But if I move this text, let me move this text, see how it's, Anytime it's it's not under the rectangle, you can't see it. All right? So we have that. And again, it's it's the mask is above it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to set some keyframes to move the text okay, up and up up under the rectangle, hold it there for a couple seconds and then move it up outside of the rectangle, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to on the text layer, I'm going to click it just once and I'm going to press P for position, P on the keyboard. And when I do that, the position key, this is the X and the Y, and we're going to mess around with this. But to do, to, to set a keyframe, we have to click this little stopwatch right here. So I'm going to click it, and notice instantly it made a little dot, a keyframe. And I want it right at the beginning of my movie. And I'm going to move it so the text is down like that, so you can't see it. It's gonna start there. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, because we already set the, the uh, stopwatch, all we have to do is move the scrubber a little bit, and then each time we move the scrubber and the text, it'll set a keyframe for us. So I'm gonna go like that. And then what I wanna do is I want that text to stay there, so I'm gonna move it down, move the scrubber down a little bit. And there's two ways I can make another dot. I'm basically copying this keyframe and putting a copy of this keyframe here. And I can do that by clicking on the, sorry, I can click on the keyframe. See how I clicked on it like that? And I can go um, Control C or Command C. And then I can go Control V or Command V to paste. And what it did was it pasted that. Or I can, let me get rid of that. Or what I can do is go over here, and it don't don't un you don't want to undo this the stopwatch, but there's a little empty dot right here. I can click it, and it'll set a keyframe right there. So now I have the text 
not doing anything for a couple seconds so you can read it. And then what I'm going to do is move the scrubber down a little bit. And because I already have this watch checked and clicked, every time I move it, move the scrubber and move this text, it'll set a keyframe for me. Okay, so I have something like that. All right. Now, what I'm going to do here is see how they're all diamond shaped. Uh, uh, notice I clicked away from them. I'm going to highlight them with my mouse. And all I did was hold down my mouse and got them all highlighted. And then I can right click and say keyframe assistant easy ease. Okay. And what that does is it changes from a straight line movement to a little bit of a curved line. So it does a little bit of uh, slowly going into the point, which looks a little better. And I can also do this. I can move these so they're closer to each other, so my movement is faster. Like that. Okay? You know, something like that. All right? And I can also say this is a little bit too long of just sitting there, so let me do something like that. You know, like that. Maybe, maybe I'll, I'll space out. So I'm going to grab these last two and just bring them, move them down a little bit. And then I have all this wasted space right here that we're not using. So I'm going to grab this work area here and, and stop it. Just, you know, you want a little bit of empty space at the end, but something like that. And then what will happen is it'll only make a movie of that area and it'll keep looping it to watch it. See how it's just looping and looping and looping? Yeah, that's, that's actually useful. All right, now, um, I have to make a movie of this. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, render the composition, composition. Again, the composition is a timeline in After Effects. I don't know why they don't call it a timeline, but they don't. They call it a composition. So to, to make a movie, I'm going to go up here where it says composition, and I'm going to go add to render queue, add to render queue. And when I click it, um, it'll, and I already have, I have two in here. Let me see if I can delete the top one here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, well, it's the bottom one here. And what I'm going to do is, you see where it says lossless? If I click it, I want to choose. There's different video settings I can choose. And uh, I'm going to choose QuickTime. Okay, and that's going to make a QuickTime movie. And then I can also click it where it says Output 2. And I can output it. Um, somewhere and change the name of it. And then when I'm ready, again, it's only going to make that little area of the work area. I have to choose render. When this is all set up and ready to go, I choose render and it'll make my movie. Okay? And then that's what you're going to turn in. Very simple, very easy, simple masking idea. All right, and then uh, I'll make another video on the a more advanced.